Hi there, welcome friends and fellow thinkers. Welcome back to the Hold of the Black Sheep, Kara Koyulu. And uh, we're about to start a war against the Jam. That are in a war with the Timurids, Afghanistan, Khorasan, Transoxiana, Sistan and Fars. Oh! <laughs> and they are allied with Nogai and Biapas. And I think even if the war is at the moment going their way, you can see down there, we might have a chance if we prepare a bit. And preparing a bit means... Uh, yeah, let's pluck away that diplomat. And wait for a month. Until our armies are good enough. Let's actually march the army here. And uh, we have another army here. And we should probably recruit another leader. I mean, we have a very bold military king and ruler, or rather sultan, a bold fighter. Ha. But he knows, he knows his son isn't the best, so he will probably not lead personally to spare his people his uh, son's reign for still a while <laughs> he has a good sultana a wife he he got just last year and so yeah maybe he, he wants to enjoy the life uh, with her a bit Unlike the historical one, uh, the historical Jahan Shah uh, just rode out in his first, uh, or in, in, in some war against Ak Koyunlu and got himself killed, and then Kara Koyunlu just broke, <laughs> broke under the reign of that hair, so, um, yeah we will not do that we'll recruit another general we have a very, very good general here in Jahan Shah Turmush and uh, we'll confirm a new leader who will not be called like, like that uh, Kara Yusuf Nasr Jahan Shah Hazan. Jahan Shah Jahan. Oh, that's a nice name. Jahan Shah Jahan. Uh, no, I, I want someone to, that we can uh, distinguish. Iskander Yusuf sounds like a good name. Wow. <laughs> this shock. I mean, we have a lot of shock bonuses. Still, this is crazy nice. It's incredible. And uh, we have a quest to free our people in Mirne. So this is basically our war goal. And uh, that is where we'll try to go first. So let's march on. Also, we want to... Oh, a royal marriage from Bitlis. Hmm. Our vassal, right? There we go. We want to do something else. I mean, we're in, in a little bit of trouble financially, but still we want to activate all forts now. And we'll just hope we can do this quickly. We can win this war quickly. So, there we go. That's the plan, right? A bold warrior won't won't uh, let such a chance pass. 
claim is fabricated from Ardalan. They want to claim Ilan. Well, we haven't had any claims, but we'll just declare war against Ajam because they hate us, we hate them in turn. They are at war with the Timurids and we want to use that situation. We could humiliate the rival. Let's see. 100% aggressive, 125 prestige and 100% cost for absolutely everything. We could show superiority, which gives even more, but only for uh, money, basically, and prestige. And we can take Mianne. And that, that will be what we'll go for. We could call allies. Arda Bill will want to... We need to spend favors to convince them to join. And Sherwin will not join the war. Enemy allies Bia Paz and Nogai. Uh, we don't really want them. We only want Ajam. Ardabil, we could give them territorial gains, but what could that be? What would they want? That is the question. Ardabil. Do they have a core on Mianne? That's what the question is. Ardabil, indeed. But they also have a call on Zanjan. Hmm. It's probably not the right conflict to call them in. Our allies. Of course, we'll take Karabakh and Bitlis. So, uh, let's confirm. Let's declare the war. Take Mianne. And we are at war. We're in relatively good shape. There's still high... Uh, High individual war score, high war enthusiasm. They have taken a lot and yeah, we are just going to play this by ear a bit as we don't have a lot of info yet. So we'll send over our troops to Mianne because that's our war goal and we want to go there. They have, oh, they have so many forts. We should just go to Kirmanshah and also uh, take over there if we can. And then we should rise war taxes. There's no way we can survive this without war taxes. So who joined the war? Nogai, Biapas. Ardalan and uh, the other the other ally or rather the other vessel and we want Bitlis uh, to be supportive of us where was it where we could change that here I think supportive supportive They are walking over, and we are taking over. And we have a spread of extreme practices in Armenia. Ah, the troublesome Armenia. The late Middle Ages saw the emergence of several new forms of Islamic mysticism, one of the most controversial being a brand of Sufi dervishes known as the Renunciationists. These men sought to separate themselves entirely from normal society shaving all body hair down to their eyebrows and publicly breaking the rules of the Sharia in order to demonstrate their unique relationship with God. 
all by wandering from town to town begging for alms. Now, religious scholars are calling for their persecution, arguing, arguing that the uneducated populace's tendency to view them with awe will lead them away from the true faith. Now we're at war, and at war you better leave people be. I don't know if we're known as an extreme legalist, but at war you leave people be. You concentrate on the war, that's what a bold fighter does. Um, probably not what a bold fighter does, but what e experienced fighter does. Don't open too many fronts. Hey, we have Kirman Shah and we have Mianne. And we can continue now to Hamadan. And Zagros is actually a wasteland, but it's called Zagros, the wasteland of Zagros. Now Ardalan is a, also in a war. We should occupy Ardalan as well. And we'll continue forward here to Zan Jan. We want to take as many provinces as we can quickly. And close the front, so to say. Because if we get uh, mountain provinces, that will be a great success. Sanjan. And we can continue here. There's a big army of Ajam. Oh. They want to go to Kurman Shah. It means we will go back here and prepare for the best. And you can. Uh, uh, no, they want to stay here. They also have... Oh, they have a bold fighter and defensive planner. We could move to Sultan J. Before we can move this army here to Zanjan. And this army we can move to Sultan J. Can we do that? Yes. So we can prepare to unite. That is Ardalan, Biapas, and Luristan. And we'll wait for them in Zanjan. And they are going to Ilam now. All right. Where are they going? To Suleiman J. Here in the Highlands. Very odd. Well, we are occupying. Hey, Karabakh, where are you going? To Urmia. They're retreating, and these guys will arrive in their Maranje. Mar well, maybe we should move back. We can trap them in, inside our own territory. Might be a good idea. Well, they are chasing and they're moving to Ardalan now. Then we'll stay here and these guys can move. Ardalan. Now they won't want to walk back to Kirman Shah. All right. All right. I mean, we have a war goal. Transoxiana and Timurids. Timurids, yeah. There, will, there we go. You get your military access. And uh, there we go. 
So they're moving back to Ilam. And we will move to... To this next province here. Come on. We want to go to Sultanie and then to Hamadan. The question is, can we move from here to Hamadan? No, we cannot. Can we move from here to Hamadan? No, we cannot. Move further here? No. All right, then we don't care. We we'll probably make great progress here, but now benign neglect. It seems that the government that governs the least governs the best as far as those outside the capital are concerned. Our non-involvement has proved beneficial and the local economy is booming. Uh, where? In Maranje. In Maranje. Here. If it moves, tax it. No. If it moves, draw, draft it. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, we have 1.4 trade power, trade volume. Mm. What tax do we have? Mm. You leave two. I don't know. Do we have good manpower? It's okay, but it's not stellar. Let's let's tax it. We need money. They would be losing against the Timurids now, right? I mean, what's going on there? The Timurids still have... They, ha they even have another army. Is that possible? The death of Shah Rukh? Oh god, the Timurids are breaking. The lifetime of war and iron-fisted rule, Timur's heir and son, Shah Rukh, has finally passed on. His life's work has been to keep the empire his father built together, unifying it after Timur's death and then stamping out any rebellions against his own rule. Shah Rukh brought peace to many parts of the empire and under his rule, under his very short rule of a few months, or maybe a year, the arts and sciences have blossomed. During his last years, he has been ill often, and his sons and cousins have used this time to prepare for the inevitable war of succession. Ooh. And a jam. A jam is doing stellar. How can they be so good? Anyways, we'll occupy more. Just run through this. Where are these guys going? To Ardalan. Oh. But our bold fighter sees the chances in this situation. Whoa. Yeah, we are demoralizing their war enthusiasm a bit. We'll just hope the pendulum swings back and we'll survive this. Because we're in not in, not in a bad position, at least. And you guys? Why are you not moving through to the main army? Nuristan is also moving forward. I don't really understand. Well, Shah Rukh has been beaten. Are the Timurids already down? That's crazy. Wow, well, we have... Uh, we have been good here. Let's see. We have no good sieges. Oh, and now, the expansion of the Karbala Madrasa. The Madrasa of Karbala. Has been gaining repute. 
not only as a center of Ismaili learning, but also for its sheikhs from other schools. Jafari scholars from other parts of the world have in particular made a name for themselves at the Karbala Madrasa, and as a result, both the institution itself, the adjoining market district and the bustling city as a whole is growing rapidly. Urban growth is never without its problems, however, and a growing madrasa still needs to be provided for. If the Sultan himself would set aside a larger charitable donation, oh God, for the upkeep and maintenance of a greater madrasa, it would benefit both the city and the area at large. Oof. Ah... Uh... Hmm, yeah, we need to do it, come on. I mean, we're Shiites, that is basically, if the Imam, if the Imam wants it, we will give it to them. Renowned Madrasa in Karbala. And for 20 years we get reduced local goods and local tax modifier. We must contribute to this endeavor. Lost the siege of Ilam and won the siege of Quazwin. And hope we we hope will Quazwin. So they are moving to Hamadan at the moment. We might catch them there. Can we Can we move there quickly? I mean from the from the forces that we see 13th of may 6th of may 12th of may we can still now nah, we cannot stop this anymore from the forces we see and uh, from the admirals we have we should be able to win this 17k troops they have a little bit less a little bit better admirals but they have bold fighters so they have an experienced one uh, all right we will just move forward to this place then and we'll move this army of iskander yusuf over here they are moving to koramabad and I'll tell the the useless subjects uh, they're puzzled some, somehow. Um, they should try to siege. Come on, siege a bit. Maybe that is something you can do. No, they're moving. I don't know where, but they're moving. Now we have Tehran here. We could move to Tehran too. That shall be a good idea, hopefully. Now what they are going to do, they will try to reunite. Oh, and they, they have an army here. In Quam. Mm, we have Wasteland here. They are not in Hamadan, which means they should be moving around this way. They cannot traverse the Wasteland. So if we get the Biapas army now, that would be great. But we cannot get the army. Ah, or can we? 13th of June, 22nd of June. No. We have occupied Savar. Is that true? Yeah, it's occupied. Uh, ah, it was just hard to see. They're moving to Kashan now. And we'll try to catch them. Can we do that? No. 21st of June. 22nd of June. Well, we still want to move to Quam, so... We can see what's there. They're probably reuniting with the army. The big army. We'll see what we can do there. Now what we hope to do is... Ah... Coptic Zealots. Boost stability. Yeah, that's the first thing we should do. Even if it costs a ton. 
and we should go for a harsh treatment too. Tehran. Over to Semnan. Look at that. There. Ah, fine. They're occupying that here. That's quite good. That's quite good. Position is not bad. Oh, they have a bold fighter with them. Can we take him? Can we catch him? Let's try to split up an army and just see if we can catch them. Minus two penalty in a mountain terrain. Now, Quom has no fortress. Kasham also no fortress. This is desert. Could be attacked there. And we're sieging here at the moment in Quom. Ah, yeah. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, oh, oh, oh no, oh no. They want to go to Semnon. To Semnon. Which means we have to move over here. You'll arrive 5th of August. They'll arrive 26th of July. They will arrive then. Ah, all right. So we've made it. You can stay here. Where are these guys going now? We don't know. They want to go to Isfahan for now. They will attach them. That's possible. Now they want to go to Semnon. 7th of August. Attach. Maybe we should trap them, maybe. That would be interesting. 16k. Now it gets interesting. I think we should not trap them. Attach and how much do we have here? We have nine and three. And very good movement. Mm. So they will be there 10th of August. And we'll be there 15th of August. They're moving to Ishafan now, where they'll move back, I think, once we have caught Semnon. Oh no, they're moving away, actually. All right. This is pretty risky, I'm sure. Now, they are moving there. 17k. We also have 17k. They're moving to Semnon, and we have to move to Semnon as well. Now, uh, we have occupied the province of Semnon. And they're there. Hmm. How's the war going? Would they... Would they be able to... Give us something? Like Miane. They would give us Miane. And Sanjan. 
not Sanjan. I mean, we wanted to take Mianne. How about Astara? They won't give us Astara. How about Ardalan? And Kirmanshah. So they would give us these two already. We have to look at the Wu. Now the Wu is going that they have quite a lot of troops still. Nogai um, is still in good shape. Question is, how much more than these 17,000 do they have there? What can we do there? I mean, they're taking over all the Timurids here. And Fars, which means they will lose a little bit here from Luristan and here Mianne. But they will also win a lot. Because their other war is going crazy good. Oh, not anymore. It seems like they're losing out somehow. How's it going, Timurids? Timurids are winning now. As risky as this is, we might go and follow that up. Maybe we should build Muslim archers. Some more Muslim archers. Would that be bad? Would that be good? We don't know. We need some more Muslim archers, I'm sure. And remove them from the queue because they are very expensive. How much would the mercenaries cost? How much would mercenaries cost? Like here, the Muslim cavalry archers. 46. Whoa! <laughs> That's crazy much, right? Oh. Nah, if you're going to build something, it will be archers here. We cannot really afford them. I think we should try to maneuver them out. Now once, once they are finished. But I mean this, uh, the decisive thing about this war is that it is a war of good chance. And our ruler is a bold fighter. He's not even He's not even here with his fighters. He thinks this is such a such an easy war that he doesn't have to come by himself. Now if they fail, he will come. He will come and uh, and help and will want to take over the campaign. But uh, we'll continue and just for the prudence, he's building that regiment. And just in case they fail, he'll come, he'll come riding with that personal regiment. Come over to Kashan, to Isfahan, Isfahan, to Abaruk and take these provinces over. Thankfully they are fleeing somehow. 
And these guys are moving to Kilmanshah. I wonder what they want to do. And we'll soon gain another personality trait even. See what this means. They want to go to Ardalan. They're from Beer Pass. They're malevolent. Oh, that leader is malevolent. And we have Timurids coming. They are going to Ardakan. Hmm. 13k of Timurids. Even more of Timurids. All right. This means we might be able to just go back and care for these beer pass guys. Ah, really a pain. A pain in our back. But we want to move. Ah, I want to move this way. Okay, okay, okay. Want to move there. And we have won the Siege of Quam. It's Luristan 2 that will arrive in Ardalan and we will go over to Bia Pass. And we want to pick up an army. And probably go back there and get rid of all of that. And we could also go to Hamadan. Like march back here and then to Hamadan. Take over that. Would that be a good thing? Yeah, that would be a good thing. Otherwise... Otherwise... They would be... Free to pursue... A flight over here and take back all the provinces. So we... Should probably take Hamadan. I hope I'm doing this masterfully enough. Uh, we will have to take loans. That is inevitable. We want to pursue that. But, oh, look at that. Ajam received a gift from Delhi, these Indians. But then we have very good chances. We are already at 25%. Peace deal will be awesome. Awesome. Like, we could take a lot already. Ardalan not, because that would dissolve a country and that is always very hard. But we could go as far as here. Not here, though, but here and. Let's see, we could get. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. 161 would they have. And that is also nice to see. I could already get these three states. And at least Mianne is Shiite. This is also a Shiite state. This is also a Shiite state. Wow, we have to free our Shiite brethren. Definitely. So, thank you for watching. Next time we'll see how the big war plays out. So, happy gaming to you, fellow friends and thinkers. We'll see each other when the horde of the black sheep uh, takes over Ajam.